Chef Steve in the AmeriCraft kitchen. You know, I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg. All I know is I like the taste of both. So this morning we're going to be doing some eggs for you. Now we're going to do some scrambled eggs. We're also going to do the hard boiled, but we're going to start off with one of my favorites. Good old fashioned over easy. Now we're going to be using our seven inch saute skillet. Now we also have the eight and a half inch. And for those of you with really large families, actually one of my favorites is our big 11 and a half inch. If you haven't got one of these, you should really add it to your collection. But we're going to start with our 7 inch and what we're going to do is preheat the pan. Now with AmeriCraft cookware you want to preheat. You see you've got 5 to 7 layers of metals and the heat needs to be distributed evenly throughout the entire pan to get the proper cooking surface. But we're going to preheat on medium heat because remember medium to low is all you need to know. Now while that's preheating we're also going to do our hard boiled eggs. Now for that I'm going to use our 1 quart. Now what we're going to do here, you see the way our cookware works it's vapor cooking. So we're not going to hard boil our eggs. We actually call it waterless cooked eggs in the shell. And it cooks in a 360 degree angle from the bottom up, the top down, and the sides in. But since there's no moisture in those eggs, we're going to help it along just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel. We're going to take that paper towel and put it right on the bottom of the pan. Now don't worry about that paper towel. It's just going to be just fine. We're going to take a little bit of water. We're going to pour it right inside the pan. Just enough to get that paper towel nice and wet. And then what you want to do is go ahead and take the pan and go ahead and dump the water right back into that bowl, just leaving that wet paper towel. Then we're going to place our eggs right on top of that paper towel. We've got four of them here we're going to do for you. And put the lid on. Now again, we're going to turn this to medium heat. Medium to low is all you need to know. And we're going to wait for a couple of things. We're going to look for a couple of things in our hard boiled eggs. First of all, if you happen to have a vapor valve on the top of your lid, then when you see the vapor come out, you want to just close that and turn it to low. But what we're going to do with this uh, piece of cookware is watch for the vapor to come out the side. And then we'll do the same thing and turn it to low. But I think that our seven inch is ready for our fried eggs. So let's go ahead and fry up some eggs. Now you can either use butter, which I actually prefer, you know, as long as it's the real butter. It comes from the cow, not the fake stuff that's out there. Or if you'd like, you can use a little extra virgin olive oil. Now it comes in uh, both the liquid form or the spray version. Doesn't matter what you use, just make sure it's extra virgin, okay? Because it comes from the first cold pressing and there's no cholesterol. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fry the, or fry, I'm not going to fry yet, we're going to spray some oil first on the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to go ahead and just immediately add our eggs. Now remember you have a nice hot pan. And we're going to let them fry up for us. Now while they're frying, let's go ahead and prepare for our scrambled eggs. Now for this we're going to use our eight and a half inch skillet. Now again, you just want to turn that to medium heat. Let it preheat. Again, let that heat distribute throughout the entire pan. Let's go ahead and scramble up some eggs. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. A lot of people like to add a little bit of milk to their eggs. That's fine too. You can do that. Or you can just scramble them the way I am, the way they are. Good old fashioned eggs, right from, straight from the chicken. Go ahead and scramble them up. And I can see right now in our fried eggs, they're just about ready to turn. Now what you want to look for in your eggs, you see how the, uh, the whites are just cooking right off of that pan. They're not sticking at all. And you get a nice clean white on the bottom. Now if you can see I'm just shaking a little bit. You see how that egg slides like it's on ice? That's the magic of the world's best cookware right there. You don't need the coated stuff. You just need to have the right kind of stainless steel. Now there's a couple of ways you can turn your eggs. You can use a spatula if you'd like. Or you can do it the old fashioned way, the kind of way I like to have a little fun with it. You see how it slides so easily. If you just tilt your hand backwards, you see how that egg just kind of moves towards your wrist? And if you go forward, it kind of goes to the front of the pan. Well, what you want to do is go ahead and put it to the back of the pan. And as it goes forward, when it hits that other lip, that's when you want to lift the pan and let it flip. You see, with our saute skillets, the sides are designed perfectly to give you that perfect flip. Here we go. Let's take a look. Just go up. Like I said, just go up and flip. And you've got perfect over easy eggs. How about that? I'm kind of proud of myself on that one. Let's go ahead and pan these up. Perfect over easy. And look at the bottom of that pan. That's what you want in your good cookware. We'll place those right over there. I think our camera guy's hungry. That's why. Okay, let's go ahead and get to our scrambled eggs. Now, I think that pan's preheated. This time I'm going to use a little bit of butter. Okay, we used the uh, olive oil last time. This time we're going to use some butter. I'm just going to put it in the pan. Now you see that nice sizzle? We know it's hot enough for us. We're just going to let that go around a little bit. Coat the whole bottom of the pan. 
Now this is the same thing if you're using the olive oil, but just now we're going to use the butter. I kind of like the taste of butter, and remember, butter is better in moderation, but make sure it's the real butter, like I said before. Then we're just going to go ahead and add our scrambled eggs. And just put them right on the bottom of the pan. And the same principle works here, so like we did our fried eggs. You want to give these eggs a chance to cook right off of the bottom. By the way, now we're using a glass top stove here. It's an electric unit. If you were using gas, here's the secret to that. Take your gas, put it to where you think is a medium heat, place your hand six inches over that flame. Now if you can hold your hand there for at least two seconds, then your temperature is good. Now if you've got to pull your hand away before that, you're too high. Go ahead and turn it down just a little bit more. All right, our eggs are ready to scramble. Now by the way, I'm using a, a regular fork, the kind of fork that you have in your drawer. I'm not using rubber, I'm not using a wooden spatula. You see, with the best cookware in the world, you don't have to baby it. And you see how that scrambled egg just, look at nothing is sticking, it's just scrambling perfect for us. Now if you want to do omelets, do them the same exact way, just add the ingredients that you really like. And we have now perfect scrambled eggs. Let's go ahead and pan those up for you, or plate them up. And again, they just slide right off that pan. Now if you can see on our one quart here, we start to see some vapor come out the side here. Now again, if you have the vapor valve on top, look for the vapor to come out there. But either way, another way to test this, if you just give that lid a spin. You see that vapor seal that it's created around there is what, what's causing that to uh, spin like that. But it also tells me it's time to turn it down to low. Now again, remember, with our cookware, you're actually saving money on your utility bill uh, by using medium to low heat. So we're going to turn this down to low, and we're going to let it go for about another five minutes because we're doing hard-boiled eggs. Now if you like soft-boiled eggs, Maybe another minute is all you're going to need. But we're going to do hard boiled, so we're going to let that go on low for about five more minutes. Now, I've got to tell you, great breakfast that we're making for you. The most important thing is that this cookware is made in the United States of America. I tell you, my neighbors have jobs because of people like you who invest in quality American products, and we really appreciate that. So five more minutes, we're going to have some hard boiled eggs for you. I believe our waterless cooked eggs in the shell are ready. By the way, when you hard boil uh, eggs, why do you put water in there? Well, simply just to have the heat equalized around the entire egg. When you have the proper cookware, it equalizes the heat without the water. You know, the water is just taking away nutrients and flavors. So you have the proper cookware, you can do it without the water. Now, what we're going to do here is go ahead and turn the pan off. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to look at how those look. Nice. No cracked shells, by the way, because there's no rolling. I'm going to go ahead and place these in, under some cold water. We're going to cool them off for you. Just get them nice and cool. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and empty that water out and put some more cold water in just to get them all neutralized there. And then I'm going to show you guys a little trick. This is kind of a neat one. This is pretty fun. Go ahead and drain just most of the water out. Just leave a little bit of water in the bottom. Now, anybody out there ever make popcorn? Real simple, put the lid back on. All you gotta do is simply shake it a couple of times and those shells are already cracked for you. Now, if you like scrambled eggs, shake them a couple more times. There we go, let's take a look. All right, now you can just reach right in and you see how it just comes right off, that membrane is broken, and just simply peel. Now, of course, I'm using the AmeriCraft cutlery made by the Buck Knife Company. And remember as a kid, all the boys got buck hunting knives as kids. Still have mine today, as a matter of fact. So, Maricraft Cutlery is made by the Buck Knife Company. We're very proud to have them as an exclusive partner. Uh, great American knife, great American company. Now, take a look at that hard-boiled egg. No green rings, perfect every time. Ooh, and wait till you taste them. And there we got some perfect hard-boiled eggs. We also have our scrambled eggs and our good old-fashioned eggs over easy. There's our eggs for today. You're gonna think you've died and gone to egg heaven. Chef Steve from AmeriCraft Cookware, I look forward to being with you in your kitchens.